I was this close to calling blonded customer service. <laughs> So I just got my two Frank Ocean vinyl records sent to my crib. Indeed, like Frank Ocean, I got two versions. Now, I actually bought the records on December 17th, 2022. I actually made a TikTok video rushing people to buy as many as they could because we all know how the hype went down for the Black Friday version of this album. And unfortunately, after painstakingly waiting for so damn long, finally got on February 28th the record sent to my crib. I've basically waited for two months to get my merch. Like, <sighs> I don't know what's up with Franco Ocean team, but it takes forever for them to deliver stuff. It is crazy. I know we were warned, but two months, dog, really? Anyway, between December 2022 and February 2023, a lot of things have happened in the Frank Ocean metaverse. To start off, there was an interview saying that Frank Ocean is thinking of retiring. There was a fake Spotify account that dropped two decade old Frank Ocean songs that everybody on TikTok thought they were new Frank Ocean songs and thought that, oh my God, I'm so mysterious. I was able to, you know, decipher Frank Ocean. He was hiding music for us, but I was so special that I found out this secret Spotify account and found out new singles I'm going to share to all y'all. No, these are not new songs. I made a video about it. Check it out. There was also a lot of new Homer radio but no new single. And he actually re-dropped merch and that merch came in, actually sent out and got shipped out pretty damn quick. Why could you not do it for the vinyl, man? Why could you do that for the vinyl? Oh, and I forgot too. Yeah, people were losing their goddamn minds on Reddit because they were not able to get their vinyl record. I mean, the Frank Ocean subreddit literally became the where the hell is my blonde vinyl record subreddit i mean it got so bad that on my frank ocean iceberg video or my frank ocean announcing that he's dropping a new album video one of the two i can't remember there's actually a comment i can't remember but make sure to check both of them out i can't remember which video was it but there's a dude that said he worked in the warehouse where they were stocking the vinyl records and he actually <laughs> said that the reason why logistically everybody's not getting their vinyl is because the manager at the warehouse he works at is just very incompetent and has no idea what he's doing uh, i could show you the comment i'm gonna blur out the guy's name um he doesn't want his you know information his likeness to be out there so i'm just gonna blur it out but yeah basically yeah it got to that point where people are getting information from a random guy on youtube to know where the hell is their vinyl record at and for me i'm not gonna lie to you i started losing my mind i mean at some point you know dhl and i ain't talking about the song at some point they were telling me that they lost they couldn't find my record i was panicking i was like what the hell i put some you know i put my you know hard-earned cash into this man so it sucks not getting what i paid for and also that a lot of my friends asked me if it was worth buying it and i told everybody you should buy it and now they didn't get their records and they're kind of like what's up with the record man you told me to buy this <sighs> yeah Anyway, that being said, before I jump into talking about the vinyl, the record, um, and how the packaging is and everything that's inside, but you've probably already seen this on Reddit, but before I do it myself, I just want to talk about a few funny things I saw on Reddit related to the vinyl record, okay? So let me begin. This Reddit user, uh, Curious Grantly, posted this picture of him receiving his record, and if I was waiting for two months and this is how DHL uh, left me my record, I would lose my goddamn mind. I would be in a fit. So uh, thankfully, this photo is fake. Thank God, because this is not actually the record. The record is actually not delivered like this. Thank God this is fake. He was joking, but I would have been in a fit. This is horrible. Thankfully, this is all jokes. Anyway, next one. So this I talked about a little earlier in the video, and it seems to be a very specific Canadian problem because I had the same thing too. We DHL just unfortunately not finding your vinyl records. Okay, so uh, Reddit user Eric Dakwich posted a screen grab of DHL just losing his record and this actually happened to me and then they found it back again. It was really weird But just for all my fellow Canadians that haven't received the record yet um, This might happen you most likely still probably receive the record. So just hang in there. Be patient. You'll be fine So this reddit user said my vinyl did not come with the green tag reddit user death grip um, so the green tag, I think is just a quality check verification. It has nothing to do with Frank Ocean. Um, I threw away my green tags. Um, normally when you get the record in the box, there's a little green tag that comes with it. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> this is funny that this person's pointing it out. 
that's pretty much it okay so this one is from reddit user naya Vini. i probably mispronounced uh the okay i can assure you this time unlike the first one this is the box that battle records come in okay fragile and stuff like that that's actually how it looks like so this is confirmed 100 percent truly the box that the vinyl record was in now is it that DHL really threw it in the garbage or he just made a joke and put it in the garbage haha ha, we don't know but this is wild if D if the DHL did really did this to me we might have to fight we might have to square up bro we might actually square up. I'm gonna go all you know Frank Ocean versus Chris Brown on you you know like what the heck is this anyway uh this is actually very wild <laughs> like I was like yo thank god this ain't me I would been I felt super disrespected anyway uh last one so last one is just pretty much just a ton of people just saying where's my vinyl record where's my vinyl record where's my vinyl record and a lot of people in the comments being like shut up this is not a where's my frank ocean vinyl record subreddit this is a frank ocean subreddit and i feel like the people that are saying that are just salty because they didn't get the record anyway <laughs> let's keep going with the video so as you know i got two versions of the record and the reason why i got two versions it's because when the black friday one actually dropped i was a broke college student and couldn't afford it so this time i said you know what i'm doubling up i got the money for it i am doubling up i'm getting two copies because jesus christ if you saw the prices that go for the black friday one it is ridiculous dude people are selling that record for a grand what the heck bro that's crazy so you know what i'm gonna double up i don't know if i'm going to hold on to it with my diamond hands yeah probably gonna have diamond hands with this one this is what i'm gonna use for sure i don't know i'm gonna double up hold on to one of them use them use one of them you know and the other one hold on to it and sell it in the future or because this youtube thing is kind of getting better and better maybe hold on to i get like closer to 10,000 subscribers or maybe give it away once i hit 10,000 subscribers just to thank you know everybody that is subscribed to this you know youtube channel the ball's in your camp you'll decide if if i get close to 10,000 i'm at, i'm almost at 5k now if i get close to 10,000 definitely definitely giving this thing out for sure 100 percent for sure but that being said until now i'm just gonna hold on to it because even right now the prices for the white version of you know the og version of blonde the vinyl are going for pretty good price like this this costs up i, I feel like 69 dollars us i see them going up for like some people send them for 400 bucks dude do the math um but it's not a lot of money i'm just really happy i have two versions and i can say i got two versions like frank ocean anyway that being said now the moment that people probably been waiting for because who cares about you know what you're paying to do with the vinyl how is the vinyl record how is the packaging yeah so i did a little unboxing as you can see and for me first of all one thing i want to say is that um I think that I don't like the cover. Like the way that the image is, the Wolfgang Tillman's image, I think that it's a little muddy, a little darker. Um, I don't like the colors that much, the colors, the tones on this version. I feel like the other version was more lighter, um, less contrasty. This one's a little bit more contrasty. So I don't like it as much. Also on the Spotify and Apple Music cover, as you all know, there's a parental advisory a sticker on it and a price bar code on it too that i think is aesthetic that is cool which you don't see on this version of the vinyl which is kind of sucks um you don't see it like where is it frank dude hello i mean i guess there's a code right here but that doesn't count anyway so you don't see that um the back is cool to see that you know the timestamps of the songs and everything that's all right now when opening of course the record First thing you see is actually the picture of Frank Ocean with the helmet that was taken in Japan, photo by, you know, Vivian Sasson. Vivian, what's up with that picture? I've never seen a high res quality of that picture ever. Like, I went on Redbubble because I wanted to decorate my condo and I caught pictures of the OG version of Blonde. So this picture right here, I caught a huge like poster of it. So I framed it, but I got a picture of the one with the helmet and let me tell you guys the quality is horrendous and i got two sizes just to make sure a smaller one and a bigger one so in case a big one is trash i'll use the smaller one let, let me just show you the quality the quality is horrendous dude this is so damn pixelated like i don't know on the camera if it, it does just how bad the the quality of this thing is it is terrible it is terrible and this is no slight to red bubble it's just this picture i've never seen this picture at a high quality even on the blonde record the quality is terrible okay i don't like i don't know why like vivian you definitely have a higher res version of this please send it to frank 
correct the mistake. Anyway, at least we have a chance to have a nice looking poster. Of course, there initially when I saw on Reddit people unboxing this record, I saw the chairman, um, the dude, you know, that in the suit that probably a high executive at a record label or whatever. Um, I thought that was a poster. I was like, ew, I don't want I don't want this. Who is this guy? I don't care for him. I don't want this. But when you flip it, you see a picture of Franco, so I'm happy because I didn't want to have to put a poster up of this random dude I don't know. I'd rather put a poster up of another dude I don't know that is shirtless. Wait, pause. Now, if you've been on Reddit, you've probably seen another picture um, in the blonde vinyl of the writing credits, the credits of the album with lyrics too. And let me tell you, I think this is super dope. And one thing that I think it was even better that he added to it is a little blurb explaining what it costs to make blonde. It says actually, cost of master recordings, two Nike gym bags full of unmarked bills, four hours on hold with the chairman's secretary, two approximately eight minute conversation with the chairman as played by Jeremy Strong, $360,000 in retainer fees for King, Holmes, Paterno, and Soraño LLP since paid, one 45 minute LP entitled Endless, made to the spec of recording agreement, eight pounds of muscle, 720 nights at the Mercer Hotel, 365 12 hour blocks at Abbey Road Studios, East West Studios, Electric Lady Studios, Shangri-La Capital Recording Studios, Question the Sun, and Cedar Establishments that will remain unnamed or forgotten. One liver filtering, 492 liters of alcohol at the bar of plastic people, $13,000 on all black designer clothing, 18 flights to Berlin, four club, two devastating heartbreaks. The third one wasn't devastating. So yeah, that's what it costs to make blonde. Uh, I like that he's being honest. I like that he's talking about it. I think that's super cool. And it's a nice tidbit and something that you get when you buy the vinyl record. Who broke your heart? And who's a third person that didn't matter? I'd like to know. That being said, another thing that I love that people, people already knew, but I'd just like to reiterate, uh, the person that says love on white Ferrari, it is Kanye West, okay? This is more proof, it is Kanye. That being said, I really like having, owning these two versions of Blonde. This is my second favorite artist of all time. This is one of the greatest albums I've ever heard, so it was a no-brainer to cop this. Um, I'm super happy, and finally it came, and um, guys, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to cop another record? Do you want me to talk about other records? We can do this. Listen, I'm having a great time doing this. It was super fun. It was a super adventure. I'm happy that I finally have it. And guys, like, share the video. Again, comment, you know, subscribe. Hey, if we make it to 10,000, I'm definitely giving this away. And guys, <laughs> as usual, White Ferrari is the best song in Blonde. And <laughs> keep it supreme.